Hello, guys. Nicholas playing. <laughs> Hope you're all well. Um, what's up? Okay. Okay, let's try this again. Hello, everybody. It is 17 days before Christmas. So I'm wearing my Christmas jumper already. I have this uh, jumper um, for about maybe eight years now, eight, nine years now, and I'm still wearing it every December. I'm sorry it's a bit uh, dark in here. Um, so we've got our uh, lantern up, as you can see on that window. I don't know if you can see it properly. Um, so that massive, hmm, you can't really see it. But we've got a lantern up and um, we didn't get any Christmas tree this year. Um, in this bedroom we have uh, another lantern up in the, the if you can see that um, star in two of the windows we've got both lanterns. Um, so Norway is very popular with lanterns. They like stars in here. Um, so in all of the apartments, oh, I'll show you. Yes, look, I'll show you in our neighborhood, in our apartments. I don't know if you can see it really, but most of the windows they've got um, they've got stars. They've got stars in them, and Christmas lanterns. What do you think, look? What do you think about Christmas lanterns? Don't touch the lens. Oh no, you're touching them. Say hello, everybody. <laughs> Lucas is vlogging with me. Okay, so. I am going to take you out with me today because um, I will be showing you a Christmas drink tradition that we have here in Norway. So um, they call it Yulbrus. Um, so it's a Christmas soda. So, <laughs> ow! When you vlog, it's very. You can really have some muscles. That was painful. Okay. So. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have never tasted Yulbrus before. I always saw them in supermarkets and grocery stores, but I've actually not tried them myself um, and I just don't know why. Um, but yeah, I heard that in every area you can get different types of Yulbrus drink. So here in Norway, you can have a different type. And I believe um, if you go to Oslo, which is the main city or the capital, um, you can also get a different one. So, yeah, let's see if what we can find um, here in Norway, how many um, Yulbrus drink, how many Yulbrus drink here in Trondheim, I mean, uh, that we can find. And so, we're gonna try and do some taste test um, with this drink. I am hoping I will like it <laughs> because um, I always like Coca Cola. When I'm in the Philippines, I always have Coca Cola. Um, but yeah. Who's in my background? It's Nicola playing. Okay. So yeah, very excited. Um, like I said, Yulbrus is, um, they brew it here in Norway and they all only come out during Christmas time. So it's very traditional. Um, they will have really cute little bottles and yeah. So I'm hoping it's a, it's a good taste. And if it is, then I might have it at least once a week. Okay, so we'll try Rema which is the closest grocery that we have. I'm sure they have Yulbrus in there. Um, I just don't know how many kinds of Yulbrus we can find, but we shall see.
So it's much later now, we've just got home. It is currently four o'clock in the afternoon, but it's very, very dark outside as you can see. You can't see. What am I talking about? <laughs> It's very, very dark outside. I'm just going to set up like a, a table. Maybe I'm going to sit on a chair or a stand or I'll put all the um, Yul, Yulbrus drink on the table so you can see it properly. And we shall do a taste test. Um, why am I in a shadow? There you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll do a taste test. See um, if they are really good. So, like I said, Yulbrus is a Christmas soda or a soft drinks here in Norway. I've never tasted it before and they only come out during Christmas. So, it's been brewed um, during Christmas time for minors, for people that are not legally um, obliged to drink alcohol drinks. So, yeah, but it's very popular with adults as well. And so, in every gathering on Christmas, like... Um, Christmas meal or just uh, salo salo and um, they always put a Yule Bruce drink on the table so I'm gonna try four different types of Yule Bruce drink that I found earlier at the supermarket um, if I'm gonna like this it's gonna be very addictive so <laughs> yeah and um, it's a soft drink it's a soda so it will really make me fat if I keep drinking this but yeah let's do this Okay, so like I said earlier, I will put them all on a table so you can all see them. But can we just like have a moment and appreciate the beauty of this bottle? Right, the packaging are so beautiful, as you can see. So like I said, um, they only do this during Christmas time or during December. So if you look at the, um, what you call that? I forgot what it's called. Uh, the lid, um, it's got like a bell in it. So it's very Christmassy. Don't know if you can see that. So it's got a bell. And then this one is called Yulbrus Let. Okay. And the color is, they all actually look like um, just brownish to me, like light brown. Um, so this one is let and I'm just looking what's the content is it doesn't really say anything much so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try from my left to right so I'm gonna try these these these, these. so this one let's have a look so this one is uh, it says Guyul at the top Guyul that means Merry Christmas so Guyul Hilsen Brigginess <laughs> So it's a Yule Bruce summer. Um, I don't understand some of it. So this one looks nice as well, and it's the packaging is absolutely very pretty. So the tin, it's got a bell as well, very Christmassy. This blue one is called just Yule Bruce, and at the top it says Gu Yul. That means Merry Christmas. And then this one is Let. Um, and it says let's uh, Yulbrus and it says Uten Suker. So <laughs> I'm just laughing because um, my Filipino friends that's watching this video, you know why I'm laughing. So it says Uten Suker. So Uten means without, Suker means sugar. So this one is without sugar. So it's Hulbrus Uten Suker, so without sugar. So yeah, I will be trying that last. So first thing is, we're gonna open it with this can opener. Uh, okay, so we'll try this one first. How do I open it? There. Oh, it actually smells like um, like a bubble gum, like a candy. Oh, it smells really good. And it's cold. I put them in the fridge. So then when I drink it, it will be lovely. Mm. Oh, I like this one. It's actually very good. 
it's not sweet. And to be honest, once you can actually like um, swallow it, like there is an aftertaste of like a bit of an alcohol in it. Mm. By the way, they call it soda here. And I do believe that in the UK, we always call it fizzy drink. We'll try this one. This one is, I think it's got sugar content in it. I think there's only one bottle here that has no sugar content, which is this one, Uten Suker, without sugar. So this one is, uh, it says Gamar Lilhama. Oh, it's in Lilhama. Right, so this is what I'm talking about. Actually, so in every area here in Norway, you can actually get different types of Yulbrus. So this one, it looks like it's from Lilhama. Now Lilhama is not very far from Trondheim where I live. Um, so basically I can, if I travel via train, like from Oslo to Trondheim, we can definitely pass through Lilhama. Now it says here that this is from Lilhama. Um, mm, interesting. So it says Gamar Lilhama Briggery. So it looks like this has been brewed in Lilhama. I hope I've got that right. If Norwegians are watching this, they're gonna kill me. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's how I understand it anyway. So cheers guys. Mm. I'm, there's no joke. There's actually a big difference between the two. This one is like not too sweet, but it's got a bit of a, you can taste a bit of an alcohol. This one is actually a little bit bitter, but it's got more like bubblegum flavor in it. Open that one. I really like this tin. Um, okay. Hmm. This one and this one are very similar, but this one's got let in it. This one hasn't got any let in it, so I don't think they're the same, but they taste the same, or maybe it's just my palate. So last but not the least is the most subtle packaging of them all, Uten Suker. Mm. What a guess. <laughs> Both of them are the same. This one has no sugar. This one has with sugar. But my goodness, I am not... <laughs> it's so bad that I've opened all four and I couldn't drink all four of them in one go. How can you actually put the lid back and put them back in the fridge? And the winner is... This one is my favorite. Um, and then second is this one, the blue one. And then third one, and the last one is the Uten Suker because I always like sugar in my drink. So thanks again for watching everybody and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye guys!